Hello everyone. Now, I know a lot of you out there have probably got some Tonic Studios memory book dies. So this is my memory book set two. And I'm gonna show you today how you can make a base for your albums using the largest die. And I've made it without the spine die. And I'm gonna show you some tips on how to make it so that when you open it, the pages lie nice and flat on each other as you go through. Not only will this help you when you're looking through your photo, but it's also easier to decorate when it lies flat. Okay, so this one will have a cover and then four pages inserted, but you can make it wider, more pages, whatever you want. So I'm going to grab all my things and I'll be back to take you through a nice easy method of putting together a memory book base. Okay, so to make the book, I've got my Craft Perfect cardstock, which is a uh, 300 GSM. And I've got my largest of the memory book two dies. So this now has got a cutting blade around three sides and an open end here, which doesn't do anything apart from the piercing. So I'm gonna start off by making my pages. So I'm gonna take my memory book die and I'm placing it with the open end down this way. I'm gonna tape it down. So if you're using the biggest one, you will need an A4 machine for this because we need to use this part here. So I'm just going to run it through my die cutting machine. until you've got that. So what we've got is our page, we'll take the tape off, cut in to our cardstock, but it's still attached here. So what I'm gonna do is just pull off those ends. So to make the book with four pages inside, plus a cover, you will need to do six of these ones and you'll also need to make six cuts of this method so the die has got a little notch here and here I'm lining that up with the edge of my cardstock taping it down So this time, because the open end was there, we've gone up to that notch, we've got our page. So this is actually going to be the lining behind our pages to make it double the strength. So you're going to need six of these and six of these. But right now, we need to cut this excess away. So the way I do it is I take my machine, I line this up with my trimmer and take my page up to the edge of my metal and now it's cut off that extra little bit piece. I'm going to turn it over and do exactly the same again. And 
There we are. We've got our page and our excess off to the left. So as I said, you're going to need six of these. So I've already prepared the other five. So now it's time to bring in our scoreboard. So this notch is going to become quite important now because that is my page. But I like a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm actually going to take that a bit further away. Now I can't really use my zero, which would be easy to work out measurements. So what I use is my six inch. So I pretend this is my zero. So I'm going to put the notch on my six, which is my zero. But I want a bit of excess wiggle room. So I'm going to actually take that notch up to six and a quarter and score down at six. Okay, so the notch is on six and a quarter. And I'm scoring at six. So this is my cover piece. And then my first page would be at quarter of an inch because I'm going to leave a quarter of an inch between each of my pages. So that'll be page one. Page two would be then half, page three, page four. So in my method, we always go in pairs. So that would be my two pairs. So I'm gonna go on to the next quarter of an inch. So that's at five, sorry, four and three quarters because I'm working backwards. I'm gonna score it. Okay. So this is gonna be my cover piece. I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to take it to six and a quarter with that notch. And so six would be the start of my page. So I'm going to go back five lots of whatever space I want between my pages. I forgot to do my six. So that is how my cover will look when we put it together. So we're going to cut them off later. So, so that's my cover. So now we're going to start on the inside pages. So again, using my six as my zero, I'm going to move the notch to my six and a quarter just to give me that little extra breathing space there. So I'm going to score at six. Now I'm going to do my inside uh, pages first. So they're just going to be a quarter of an inch apart. So this is my zero. I'm going to go back a quarter of an inch. If you want to go back half an inch and want to fill it up even more, that's fine. Just make sure you do it with your cover and every page. So there's my quarter and I need to do that again. So on my zero and a quarter. Okay. So you can leave it like that, but I like to do a score on the six and quarter on that notch as well. This will just help the page lie a bit flatter. And it'll actually give you a bit more movement inside your book. So those will be my two inside pages. Now I'm going to do my two outer pages and then you've got your cover. So again, the notch to my zero, move it up a quarter. Let's score the notch. So I can score my zero, which is my six. I'm 
and this time I'm going to go one, two, three quarters up. So if you are doing half inches, you just go up three half inches. Whatever increment you want, you use. And you just make sure you do two of each of them. Ooh, that's already been scored. Here's my blank one. So my notch is on six, my zero. Let's move it up quarter. So down my zero and down my notch. And then three of my increments. One, two, three. So that's all my scoring done. So we're going to bring back our trimmer and my scoring tool. So we'll start with our cover. So I'm going to score down the two marks. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut down this way. So the way I do it is I put it in, keep it all flat until the score catches on my blade and cut. Again, it's caught and cut. So those are your two cover pieces. Now we're going to do the first set of pages, which is my three quarters of an inch. So that's my zero score line. This is my three increments one. And if you remember, we also have the score line between the notches just to have some extra room. So I'm just going to score that as well. Yeah. You can see that'll just help later on make it lie flat. So again. This is my three increments one. And I'm just gonna score back on that notched one. You can see how that helps it to lie flatter. And just like we did with the cover, this last score line is actually our cut line. So just like our cover, these are going to be glued together on the spine and you can see where that notch one helps it to open. So this is going to be the trickiest one because we've only got the quarter of an inch. So you've really got to work your cardstock and train it to go where you want it to go. on that last score line again. And one more.
That's my notch score line. Here. Cut it off on that last score line. This is our last cut. So I've got my two sets of pages and a cover. So let's start with the inner page. So first of all, I'm going to add some score tape, red liner tape, whichever you want. But because it's such a thin one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my tape down the middle. And I'm just going to put it on the edge of my page. Don't worry if it doesn't meet in the middle because we're actually going to put some glue on it too. So I've got my adhesive on that inner edge. I'm actually going to add some glue as well. So the tape will hold it for now, but the glue will make sure it does stick. And what I'm going to do is glue this one now inside this one. So now what you've got is a U shape with, because we scored down those notches as well, we've got those extra little hinges. And that's all this method is, is a lot of U shapes, because that's what we're going to do on the next one. Now this one's much easier because we've got that wider piece. So tape to hold for now, some glue to make it last, make sure I've got the edges, and again we're going to make that U shape. It's our second one. And as you can see, as we've done those increments, they're just going to lie inside. And these now are our covers. And remember, we didn't score down the notches of this one, but if you wanted to, you could. It would just give you a cover then, which moves in more direction. But I like it quite sturdy. taped and glued. So again, I'm making sure, each time I do this, I'm making sure that piercing, the nicer edge, is facing out from the centre. I think that's just a habit, but it just neatens off your book as well. I also like the photo. See, this is where the join is. I like that to be the back of my book as well. Okay. So this is the front of my book. And that's all it's case of now is putting our pages inside. So again, some tape down the middle of my spine. You see this is the tidy side. Glue for strength. And I'm going to line this up now 
central between those two score lines. So I'm just going to have to come above. So just even each side. Let's bring it down, line them up with the base of my book. Here we are. And down the middle. And then my slimmest spine. Again, my tape is going to be a bit too thick, so I'm just going to Cut it down the middle. So I'm going to do it top and bottom, don't worry about that middle, because the glue will get that. Let's take the backing off the tape. Hold it up. Add some glue. Make sure it's on the edges. So bring back my book. And again, I'm going to have to come over the top. So that glue also helps me make sure it's in the right place before we stick it down. If it was just the tape, it would have caught. And that's your book. So it's up to you now. You can leave it as it is if you've used a nice strong card. But those other six we cut, they're just going to finish off the insides for us nice and neat because you've got the back of the die cut. So we're going to get rid of that raw edge just by gluing those six we cut. Straight on top. And in the pages. Let's work off to the back of our book first. So again, make sure you get nice and close to the edge of your page. You don't want them come in apart. Now I've glued my entire page down. Now that's just my choice, but what you could do, I'll show you on the next page. Is this is the front of the book. What you can do is just take your glue down three sides and stick it down. Then each page then becomes a pocket page. One, two, three, four pages done, almost there. And page one. the inside cover. This is the last one now. Huh? 
And because we cut these pages at that notch, you've still got that hinge mechanism working. And that's it. That is your base book completed. So because we've had two lots of 300 GSM cardstock, this is now 600 GSM, so it's nice and sturdy. Before we even put on our decorative papers, it'll get even thicker. That little extra bit away from the notch has just given us some allowance there to allow the pages to lie flat. So hope you found that useful. And if you have a go at it, let me know and share what you make. Thanks a lot and see you again.